Belle, you say you want um, women your age to see this film, that it's very important that they see it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, so many reasons. Um, I just, when like I first read it, I was like, I wish this movie had come out when I was 15. Um, I feel like it just normalizes female sexuality in a way that hasn't been normalized in movies, in books, or even in life. Like, it is not something that we want to talk about. It's a very taboo subject. And having been a teenage girl myself, it makes you feel very isolated. And if you have sexual thoughts, it makes you feel like you're weird, like you're a freak, um, and there's no one to discuss it with. Um, so I just feel like in those, in that sense, it's a really important film to show that to young women. Absolutely. I agree. I second Thank that. You. Um, you also have said previously that when you were 16, I believe you were cast at the Royal Court in London to do a play, and that's where you really learned to delve into a character. Yeah. How did you delve into Minnie? Um, I actually approached it, like, I mean, just in terms of, like, process, I, I approached it like a play, because, like, I trained in theatre, and this film, obviously, every other line was mine, like, the, you know, I was in every scene of the movie, so I learned the whole script like a play before I got there. Um, so that was kind of my process. And then just delving into Minnie, in the, like, the way that she is emotionally, how her emotions are so heightened and very on the surface, is how I felt when I was a teenager. And I think how lots of teenagers feel, so I tapped back into that. But then also I had to really tap back into the way that teenagers talk and the way that they hold themselves and walk. So. It was kind of a whole character analysis. And we were always checking in with each other about whether moments felt authentic. Both of us have been teenage girls, Bill more recently than me, <laughs> but we were always kind of checking in with like certain moments to make sure like this was how you felt when you were a teenager, right? This is what I did. I would lie in bed and do this kind of thing. Oh, I would lie in bed and do this kind of thing. And that sort of became our touchstone for the authenticity too of like, well, if both of us felt this way when we yeah. were teenagers, it must be kind of real. <laughs> well, Mari, you were with this story for at least eight years. You yeah. played Minnie yourself. I did, yeah. Did it almost feel like a relationship in some ways, like a love-hate thing at times? Like, If anything, I feel like Minnie is like my spirit guide. I feel <laughs> this like connection to this character that is Minnie, who is sort of separate from Phoebe, who wrote the book, separate from me, separate from Belle. She is this this teenage girl who I wanted to honor and do right by. Um, I've thought about getting a tattoo of her because I feel really? like she, yeah, it's the only tattoo I've ever considered getting. But I think, I just feel like she, I'd never found a character who I felt so connected to. I feel like she's my Holden Caulfield. And I just, it was less of a relationship and more of this feeling of, I, I would check in with her at night, and I, if anything was ever going crazy, I would just say, I'm doing this for Minnie, we're doing this for Minnie, and kind of just check back into, yeah, who she is. How does it feel to know that you will have to let the story go at some point and move once the movie's out there and, and it's on VOD or whatever yeah, your distribution deal really is? Yeah, really sad. To <laughs> have to sort of let it, I mean, eight years is a long time. It is really sad. I think it's going to be weird to, to realize that this is over at some point, but I love that this film will live on forever and that I, I will have it. I mean, that's the thing about doing theater is when I finished the play, it was just gone. And that felt so sad. But I think with this, I'll have this film forever and it will always be my first film. And it's something I feel so proud of and will always be a part of me in a way that, yeah, I'm, I'm just really pleased.